Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous class we discussed on how to remove duplicate using conditional format. Now today we are moving on to another topic entirely which is a Z list function using the sum. In this today's tutorial, I will want us to submit our full concentration on the topic we are going to discuss today. Now, in this section, we are going to talk about working with a list, that is, working with list function. How can we create a more dynamic function to help us to calculate? data inside a list or what is mostly referred to as a table data a table or database in front of me here I got an example file now what I'm going to do here is I want to create a calculation that will sum up the total expenses column here but I only want to sum up the total expenses here in the total expenses in the column here where the category right equals supply where this category equals supplies so in respect of so where my category that will equal supply uh, total expenses in respect of the supply that is exactly what i'm going to i want to work out here but here i just need to work out work on range of cells here and the function to do that is called the sum but in this case i don't want to sum up all the total expenses rather i just need where the the categories equals right categories equals supplies right so to do this we need to make use of the sum function or database sum function this will allow us allow us to add a conditional to our summit so in other words to do this the first step i have to identify that i want to sum up the total expenses by category core supply right so my total expenses here by category core supply right to do this i need to create a condition or on my criteria now to create a condition now so i have to create a condition let me do it on my right hand, right, right hand side now let me i want i want a category that will equal supply now so what i'm going to do is i have to, I have to create an heading here let me copy the heading here the category here down on my right hand side here right now since i want my category to equal supply so my supply will be under under the category here so let me copy the supply here right because i want the total sum of the total expenses in respect of the world supply to in respect of this uh, total expenses rate of the supply that is under the category so category my categories equal supplies so and then i want the total expenses in respect of the supply that is under the category called supply now i need another, another head which is what so because i want to create a condition to form to form it now i've don't have create created two heading that is telling telling me that when you want to sum up this total expenses you should be looking for a column right called category right and when you when you find the cat uh, the column called category look for supply that is exactly the condition that I created it so what I'm trying to say then here yeah, I've done two things here right I put on putting a header that is telling the EZ that when you want to sum up the total expenses you should be looking for a column right core category 
right this category here so now and when you find the category then call a uh, column then look you should look for supply you can see the condition i'll be able to create under this option there so now we have created two headings and call category and supply and, and total expenses the, the next thing is to click on this cell here then go to formula tab or uh, formula tab here which is at the top right menu right so now in we don't want to use math and trick as as i've already read like i just said that you don't want to be bothering where the formula you want to use since we are working on this one this time around so we go to the side boss here we'll type the sum the sum right so click on go then yeah the dialog box that came up here now what i want to do here now is we want to sum up the total essence column where our category equal to seven. Now I needed to know where my database is, right? So on my database, so where is my database on this Z list here? So I have to, this is my database. So I have to highlight all the whole database here, right? By pressing Control Shift down, right? Then drag it to the right hand side. So I'll be able to pick all my database here, right? So which my list start from here. So now on the feed aspect, the, this feed is saying which column do you actually want to sum up? It can be it can be January, it can be February, and can make sense. I'm interested in the total expenses expenses feed. So I'm going to click on the total expenses feed, right? You can see. So I can work on any feed on this head here so it's that general but since I'm, i want to i have already created a condition that i want my category equal supply in the rest of the world total expenses so now i've clicked on category then in this on this criteria feed i want to do a condition here remember i don't want to sum up all every record i only want to sum up where my category equal to supply right so what i'm doing, going to do here is that I will just come down to this my category right then click on the category then i want my category equal to equal supply then then press ctrl shift down i'll be able to make a condition that so anytime i'm sourcing for supply uh, category equal supply then you will be looking for what total expenses right so then click on okay you can see so automatically it gives me the total expenses figure in respect of what supply all right you can see it's giving me total expenses figure in respect of supply all right now let's make a change here like, right let's make a change here so let's make a change maybe probably you don't want let me use a little bit format here let me print it increase it to 13 so that it's more bold all right good, good. So now, what if you can you can see that the, my, the condition my condition has already been being, one, being supplied here by saying that ca my category equal to supply. So the total expenses rate of supply on this Z list tip, the data database here is what two thousand twenty five thousand two seventy five. Now, what if I want to change this supply to another category here? I can as well type it here but okay let me say i want to change it to telephone you can see so you can see that if and the values are changing that's what the total expenses telling me that so the total expenses in respect of a telephone here is what nine thousand seven eight seven eight you can see it is very simple just try to work it out take a very deep breath and don't rush interpret your your condition very well and make sure that your condition you you form is tally with what your database i can as well go by creating another category here 
let me show you another form of category let me show you another form here okay let me click on this this heading here but in this sense i'm i'm going to change the the format here what if i need i want to change this to i need the match record here right so let me change it to match record right so match record right So now I, I change it to match record. So now I, okay, let me, I want to make this match and this category my category equal to uh, the category equal to let me say overhead, right? Let me pick overhead here. Let me pick an overhead here, right? So once I pick an overhead, then you click on this box. In this sense, I want my category equal to what equal to overhead in and all the my category. So all the Provide in respect of what the total expense, the the all the figure, all the expenses spent in March in respect of what overhead. I can as well do that. Then click on this box. Go to your formula tab. Go to us insert option. Then click. Just type. Just type the sum, right? The sum. Click on it. Then go. Then that my database. You pick on your database as well. Click Control Shift down. And you have already picked my data. So what feed am I looking at here? So I'm looking at the the match record, right? So now on the criteria here, so I want my cat my criteria here is what to make my categories equal to what overhead, right? So once I press OK, you can see that automatically it gives me the the total record in respect to uh, the total uh, and uh, categories on um. Uh, uh, on the, in, in ma uh, match on the match head, then the category that equals what overhead, which is automatically four thousand seven fifty. You can as well change it if you like. You can change it to rent. So definitely, it's going to give you the report for rent. You can see. So you can just work it out. It's very simple. So thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving an updated exam function bye